Hey everybody, Canyon have released the new Speedmax and whoa, I love this photo. It's an absolute beast. I like it a lot. As I mentioned before in my last video, I'm busy beavering away making a video of all the bikes I can find with the 105 group set on it. But bike manufacturers keep releasing bikes and distracting me. And very much so with this one, the new Speedmax CFR from Canyon. As soon as this popped up on my feed, I was completely distracted and couldn't concentrate. Now, I'm not particularly big on time trial bikes. It's not really my thing, but I sure as heck like looking at this bike. I think it looks very cool. And in fact, it's not UCI legal. So, so it's mainly going to be bought by triathletes, I imagine, iron men and women. And why not? It's rather funky. And if we compare it to the outgoing Speedmax, clearly it's a radical shake-up of what they had before. And way, way nicer to look at. Obviously the old Speedmax had these stick-on lunch boxes all over it for putting your gin and tonic in. And as you can see here, we've got a big old shake up in the rear triangle as well. Radically different. This is interesting, this sort of split angled chainstay. Presumably that is more aero, is it? I can't see what other reason you would go to this trouble. If you know, put a comment down below. Got a super beefy seat post. And as for the new forks, they're like something off a fighter jet or something. I love them. Awesome. So the title of this video was the Speedmax versus the Air Road. And that's what we'll have a look at next. And the reason I wanted to look at that was because if, and it's a massive if, because for me, swimming is the last thing on the planet that I ever want to do. But if I was thinking of getting into triathlon, actually stumping up the cash for a dedicated time trial bike is quite a big deal. And you would probably consider just going for a normal road bike that you could put some clip on bars on or something like that. But obviously you'd want that as aero as possible. So what is the difference between a triathlon TT bike and something like the Canyon Air Road? The aerodynamic road bike from Canyon. Well, we fade between the two a lot. They're massively different. So the Air Road released a few weeks ago, and unlike Specialized, Canyon have stuck with full-blown aero road race bike. But in comparison to the Speedmax, it makes it look like your Nan shopping bike. The Speedmax is insanely styled with aero in mind. The difference in those forks is insane. Much beefier seat tube and deeper seat stays. And then you've got much more conventional chain stays on the air road. And obviously very different up at the head tube here because clearly we've got the aero bars on the Speedmax and just conventional drop bar, well, semi-conventional in that they are integrated and do the weird adjustable width thing, the new thing from Canyon, but basically conventional drop bars here. Which makes the layout of this whole area here very, 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 very different. And obviously you've then got the big difference in geometry and how you sit on this bike. You're in a very, very different position, much more upright over the bottom bracket and over the front wheel. And I was reading up on some articles about why the geometry between time trial bikes and road bikes is so different. And there's various reasons, but one of the main reasons they found was that for triathletes, this position means that when they get off the bike, their leg muscles are much more happy about running than if they use a more conventional road bike geometry. So that's one of the reasons. One of the reasons you don't really want to be sat so forward and over the front quite as much if you're on a road bike is that that's going to make the bike a lot more twitchy, aka Chris Froome's accident on his time trial bike when he got taken out by a gust of wind, albeit that he did have his hands off the handlebar at the time but the time trial bike is going to be more twitchy than the road bike so i did spend a bit of time reading the bump on canyon's website the frame sets 200 grams lighter than the old speed max the new speed max is nine watts faster we've got ultra thin eight millimeter seat stays and a big feature on this bike is we've got a lot of integrated storage and places to put your groceries 
One of the things we have here is a little sliding panel that you can put your scuba gear in. So that's pretty cool. And then this is a very cool thing here is that you can put a bladder into the frame of the bike and then you just squirt bottles into it. And this has got some special valve on it to stop it splashing out all over the place. So that's that's cool. I like that. Speaking of nutrition, does anybody find when they're going full gas on a chain gang or a pace line or just in a group, everybody's going as fast as they can. Does anybody else find it really difficult to get a gel out of your back pocket, open it, get it in your mouth, and then get the gel packet away somewhere under your jersey or something so that you don't chuck it into the bushes? Or is that just me? I find it unbelievably difficult and consequently can end up not taking on enough sugar on a hard ride. I've also found that if I can actually get a whole gel into my mouth, it's actually a bit, bit too much for me. I'd, I'd rather only have half a gel, too much sugar, and, and I have definitely seen that I get cramp if I have too much sugar all in one go. So I prefer to have half a gel at a time, but then putting a half gel back in your pocket is again a complete nightmare because you squirt it out all over the place. You get it all over your hands, then your hands get stuck to the handlebars and you can't get them off. It's ridiculous. So I've come up with an idea. How about, and I know you're going to think this is a stupid, crazy idea, but how about a little like, a bit like a camelback bladder, which is probably what this is here, but a small one, a little ditty one that you keep in a little pouch just behind the front panel of your jersey. And then you stick the straw out through, I don't know, a special hole or, or through the zip. Maybe you have a little bit of Velcro here to clip it to. And then when you go in full gas, you just grab the straw and then with one of your hands, squeeze the little pouch to squeeze some gel out and maybe it would hold three or four gels maybe and that way you could just sip on it and just have the amount that you want what do you think stupid idea or are you going to help me start up a crowdfund thingy cool i think it's definitely the way forward and yes you probably think i'm a complete lunatic but have you noticed this new thing that's going on in the peloton and this is an ineos rider here he's got on a glucose monitor which beams your blood sugar levels to your mobile phone well first time i've seen this on a pro rider was this year and i dug this up out of my emails in october 2017 i actually ordered one of these freestyle libra glucose monitor things but there you go i was well ahead of the game there i never actually got round to using it because as you can see it's quite expensive and i think it lasts for two days once you stick it on so it's actually just in a box on my shelf still at the moment and the other thing is i couldn't find a way to get the information onto your garmin because it's not much use on your mobile phone while that's in your back pocket anyway there we go i digress leave a comment let me know what you think so back to the speed max does anybody think that this saddle looks a little bit like a bird maybe a woodpecker i think it's cute isn't it look at that hilarious it's the woodpecker seat so how does the speed max compare to some of the competition well here we have the pinarello bolide tr plus and i think the bolide is a pretty good looking bike and this one has got the plastic boxes stuck all over it so presumably it's for triathletes as well Uh, it's a pretty good looking bike, similar to the one presumably that Filippo Ganna won all the stages of the Tour de France on. Or what about the PX series from Cervelo? Now, I actually find these shaped bikes slightly revolting, so I don't really like looking at that. But presumably it's super aero. Cervelo are pretty good at the whole aero thing. It's funny, I don't like this shape here, but I do quite like the fact that the back wheel is completely exposed like that. I think that looks pretty cool. So which one would you buy? The Speedmax, the Cervelo or the Pinarello? For me, definitely the Speedmax, I think. And has anybody seen the videos that GCN have put out lately? Two against one and three versus one where one of them rides a TT bike and two of them ride road bikes and they time themselves over I think it's 10 kilometers and you would think that two riders working together could beat one person on a TT bike but you'd be wrong TT bike wins so they then try it with three riders and unbelievably the TT bike still wins well with that in mind I got to thinking about what would the Speedmax actually look like if you turned it into a road bike I thought well maybe I could take the bars off a Madone and stick it on the Speedmax. So I couldn't resist doing it and that's what that would look like. And then I don't really like the birdie seat so let's put the Madone seat on as well. And that's what you come up with. A completely impractical road bike but phew, it sure looks badass doesn't it? I like it. I wouldn't want to sit on it for very long though probably. If we just compare that to the Air Road. Oh, the Air Road looks very tame in comparison doesn't it? That looks wicked. 
So then I thought, well, maybe we'll do it the other way around and we'll take the forks and maybe the rear triangle off the TT bike and put those on the air road. And this is what I came up with then. And that looks pretty cool as well. Probably slightly more comfortable to ride, I would think. That also got me to thinking that I've actually done something that looks quite similar before. And then I remembered the Ferric Cond Velo mashup that I did. I think I did it on the Felt ARD video that I made. And that still looks pretty good. I like that. So which one would you prefer? Those two are full crazy. Well, for a couple of miles, I think I'd probably go full crazy because that looks well cool. Right, okay, so I've gone completely off down the rabbit hole. So I'm going to call it a day there. Crack back on with my video that I'm supposed to be making. If you'd like to see some bikes mashed up like this, let me know down below which bikes you think would look good mashed up together. See what we can come up with. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, that would be great if you could. And hopefully I'll get my 105 video out pretty soon. Till next time.